So if you have decided that you want to go study in the US, which is possibly the best place that you would want to go to? Well, the correct answer is that among all the admission offers that you get, which one is the best possible university when it comes to your affordability, the reputation of the university, the career prospects, and the place where that university is located? For the first few criteria, it actually depends on your profile. However, when it comes to the location of the university, I can actually give you some insight on what are the best states in the US that you might want to consider to go study. And here are my top 10 states in the US that you might want to consider for your education. This is Chaitanya Samhara. I'm a faculty at the College of Business, University of Texas, Arlington. Please know these are my top 10 states. And because I'm selecting only 10 states, I had no choice but to leave out 40 other states. If your favorite state is not in the list, well, I'm sorry about that. Okay, so I'm pushed here into the corner now. Let's begin our journey and take a flight from India all the way to the US. So state number 10 on the East Coast is New Jersey. New Jersey is one of the first 13 colonies of the United States of America. It is one of the oldest states and one of the oldest settlements in the US. Because it is one of the early states in the US, New Jersey also happens to be one of the earliest states to industrialize. Because it is one of the earliest states to industrialize, it has a lot of fantastic universities that includes Princeton University. New Jersey is where Edison started his career and there are a lot of companies in New Jersey. So that is one of the pros of New Jersey. However, of all the states that I have been to in the US, in my view, New Jersey was also the most outdated rundown state. It's very small in area. The population density is very high because a lot of people work in New York but live in New Jersey because of expenses. And the infrastructure of New Jersey has been struggling to support the entire population. But a huge majority of New Jersey are those who were not born in the US. And there are a lot of international students that come to New Jersey to study. So now let's go to our next state. Let's fly all the way to the Pacific Northwest. At number nine is the state of Washington. State of Washington is one of the fastest growing states in the US. It is really, really beautiful out there. It is one of the rare combination of any landmass in the world. It has ocean, beaches, mountains, lakes, rivers, forests, desert, everything. But Seattle is pretty much the largest city there is and there are no other large cities in the state of Washington. And because Seattle is surrounded by so much water, there is not enough land and that raises the real estate prices very high. And therefore, the state of Washington happens to be one of the most expensive states, especially if you live in Seattle area. Although the state of Washington boasts of many large companies that includes Microsoft, Amazon, Boeing, Starbucks, but these are only a handful big shot companies. So from state number nine, we'll fly eastwards all the way from Pacific Northwest to Midwest of the US. And now welcome to Ohio. Why Ohio? Ohio used to be one of the most industrialized states in the US, but in recent years, Ohio's population has moved to other states, in particular to California. But still, there are a lot of manufacturing companies in Ohio. But even then, Ohio has registered negative population growth for many years. And consequently, Ohio is one of the cheapest states in the US to live. It is very, very affordable. So if you're an international student, you should consider Ohio as one of your key destinations. It has many good universities that include Ohio State University, Case Western Reserve University, University of Cincinnati, Miami University, Ohio University, and so on. But on the flip side, Ohio literally has nothing. It is cold, it is boring, and it does not have as many companies as some other states do. So from state number eight, Ohio, let's go to our state number seven, for which we will now fly all the way back to West Coast. So many of you will wonder why is California at number seven, even though it is the most popular state in the US? Well, we'll get to that. But first, let us look at the positives. Almost entire state of California is blessed with great weather. It has a huge coastline and let's get real. California has more companies than any other state in the US. In fact, if California was a country, it would be the sixth most prosperous country in the world. And therefore, California gives you a lot of opportunities. On the flip side, California is super, super expensive. And international students' life can be really hard if you are struggling with finances there. And that's not it. Because California has so many people, the competition for those jobs is also very, very high. So from state number seven, California, let's go to a state number six. Looks like we are doing a lot of zigzag. Let's fly back to East Coast. Welcome to New York. A Lot of people misunderstand the term New York and New York City. New York City is the largest city in the state of New York. What are the pros of New York State? Well, it has New York City. 
I'm sure most of us have dreamt of visiting New York City at least once in our life. Any trip to the US is literally complete only when you go and visit Liberty Mata and get a picture with her. Here is my picture. And because New York is also a very industrialized state, it has a lot of opportunities. In particular, if you are in finance, banking, real estate or technology sector, you will have a lot of opportunities in the state of New York. The negative part is that it can get crazy cold in the state of New York during winter. The taxes in New York are very high and it is very expensive to live there. And of course, very high competition because when you have so many opportunities, you will have so many people competing for those opportunities. So from state number six, let us look at our state number five. This is a very short trip to the state of Massachusetts. Massachusetts has more universities contained in small geographical area than any other state in the country. The state of Massachusetts is literally the knowledge hub of the US. Apart from Harvard and MIT, you have University of Massachusetts, many of its branches. You have Boston College, Boston University, Northeastern University, and so many more. And because it has so many universities, it is a very thriving place and is also very, very energetic. On the flip side, it is super cold, it is super expensive, and it also has a lot of competition from very, very smart people. So from the cold of Massachusetts, let's go to our state number four, to mountains. Let's fly back all the way to the west again. Where are we going now? We are going all the way to Colorado. Many of you might know Colorado as the state where Madhuri Dixit used to live. Colorado has some very decent universities and it is very very scenic state. But more importantly, Colorado is much more affordable than many other states in the US. But because Colorado is located among mountains, the weather is often pretty cold and actually very dry. And therefore Colorado is not for everyone. And more on the flip side, it is pretty much surrounded by much smaller states, not smaller in size, but very small in population. Colorado is far from all other big cities and big states. Colorado is far from Seattle, Atlanta, New York, Boston, everywhere. So from state number four of Colorado, let's fly to a state number three. At number three, we have Disneyland and beaches. Welcome to the state of Florida. Florida is also not very expensive and it has a very relaxed atmosphere. People in Florida, love to take it easy and it has a lot of opportunities in energy and technology companies. But almost the entire state of Florida is surrounded by oceans and therefore it is very hot and very humid. And moreover, you might have occasional hurricanes. Now let's go from state number three to a state number two. We'll fly just to the north to the state of Georgia. Georgia is a beautiful state that has mountains, beaches, lakes, everything. But more importantly, it has some really good universities. The city of Atlanta alone has three good universities that include Georgia Tech, Emory University, and Georgia State University. And just one hour away is the University of Georgia in Athens, Georgia. One great thing about city of Atlanta is that it is truly an international city. It is the most well-connected city in the entire country. The Atlanta airport is the busiest airport in the whole world. And if you have to fly from Atlanta to any other city, most likely you will get a direct flight. And because of that, Atlanta has been growing leaps and bounds. And a lot of big companies are headquartered in Atlanta area that includes Coca-Cola and CNN. And therefore, Atlanta gives you a lot of job opportunities. But on the flip side, the state of Georgia can boast of only one international standard city, which is Atlanta. Now let's fly to a state number one. From Georgia, we'll fly to the Mid-South all the way to the great state of Texas. Why is Texas number one state in my list? Well, Texas is the largest state in the mainland US. Texas is the second most popular state in the country. And cities in Texas are way cheaper than cities in California, Washington, Massachusetts, and New York. And Texas has many big cities that include Dallas, Fort Worth, Austin, San Antonio, and Houston. And Texas has many good universities that include Rice University, University of Texas Austin, Texas A&M University, University of Texas Dallas, University of Texas Arlington, Texas Christian University, Southern Methodist University, University of Texas San Antonio, and University of Houston, and University of North Texas, among others. Oh, and I forget, Texas Tech University is also a very good university in Lubbock, Texas. And Texas gives you great opportunities because you have a lot of companies in Texas. Austin is literally a technology hub after California. Dallas is an airline and telecommunication hub, whereas Houston is the energy hub of the US. And if you are coming from hot states in India, Texas is a perfect place for you. Even though the summers are harsh, winters are very mild. And Texas has a very strong American culture. Texas, in fact, used to be a country of its own and it holds strong Americanism in its culture. Everything is big in Texas. People drive big trucks, they carry US flags, and they take pride in being a Texan and an American. On the flip side in Texas, well, the weather could be too hot for some. And because the culture in Texas is that everything is big in Texas, everything is spread wide, 
and if you do not have a car you will struggle so traveling within texas could be a challenge for some so it is safe to say that in texas if you do not have a car you probably do not have a life okay so i'm big again so this was my list of top 10 states of course it was not possible to include all 50 states in the top 10 list but i hope i was able to give you some interesting insights so tell me what you think about my list of the best states in the us thank you for watching jai hind and god bless america